Holy crap, guys. We're finally here. Iron Fist. All right. So the Defenders is like three, two days away. I'm super excited. I cannot wait to watch it. I can't wait to review it. I cannot wait. It just sucks. That this is what I have to go through first before it comes out. Let's talk about Iron Fist Season 1. Iron Fist tells the story of Danny Rand. He uh, was on a plane with his parents, plane crashes, he gets rescued by these monks, taken to this mystical city of Kunlun, where he is trained in martial arts and becomes the immortal Iron Fist. Let's talk about the cast. Finn Jones is Danny Rand. He's okay. He's just okay. He's not great. He's got a couple of cringy, poorly acted moments. Or more than a few. And he's... He's just kind of dumb, honestly. This show is basically nothing. Like, the other shows had good stories to tell. Uh, Daredevil, obviously, was the introduction into this world. And then building up the hand as a major enemy. Uh, Jessica Jones told a really good story about an abusive relationship and PTSD. And then um, Luke Cage just... Yeah, I guess you could argue that Luke Cage is kind of a nothing story too, but at least it had good writing and a good main character that you care about. But it doesn't really contribute very much to the overall Defenders story. This one does, but it's nothing. This show is just kind of nothing. Um, the supporting characters are pretty good, I guess. I mean, I can't even remember most of them. I think one of them... I mean, there you got his childhood friends who now run his company, and one of them... They both take a while to believe it's actually him. And that was one of the slowest parts of the show, was just waiting for him to finally convince them that it was him. And I just... Got bored out of my mind with this show. The show is so boring. I watched it all over the course of a couple days, and after a couple days after I finished it, I could barely remember a single thing about it. I mean, the other shows had their slow moments and could maybe trim an episode or two away, but Iron Fist could trim off like half the season. And it would probably be a much better, more, a much better flowing story. There's no reason to care about anything. You don't have a single character that you can emotionally latch on to. I mean, there's no interesting story, really. He doesn't really fight. The, he doesn't destroy the hand the, like he's supposed to. He, he's the immortal Iron Fist. He has been trained his entire life to destroy the hand. And I just realized right at this moment that if I had a beard, I would look exactly like Danny Rand because he has like a big curly puffball hair. Um, <laughs> I like the stuff involving the hand and um, the city of Kunlun because that stuff was interesting. Give me more of that. Because... You have the hand stuff, which which was interesting because you find out that um, Colleen Wing, his love interest, is a member of a faction of the hand, which is actually doing good things. And so that was an interesting story for me because I guess it does make sense that there would be different like factions of the hand, like, different fingers. You got, like, different fingers of the hand that branch out, but it's still the hand. That stuff was interesting. And then Kunlun, obviously, is interesting because it's a mystical hidden city that only appears to the world every ten years. 
that stuff's cool. Literally nothing else is, because a lot of this show is just corporate nonsense. This is the Phantom Menace of the Netflix shows, where you had a bunch of really good stories before, and then in this one, they decide to focus on business and corporate stuff in a superhero show. It's so boring. Honestly, I I enjoyed the show enough to be able to watch it a few times every now and then, but not enough to like it and be able to just turn it on at any time, like Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and hopefully The Defenders. I've been hearing some good stuff about The Defenders, so I'm really excited for The Defenders. I'm thinking that the character of Iron Fist, though, is kind of like the Hulk in The Avengers, where as a part of a team, he's an amazing character. But on his own, he sucks. The show is boring. It's not compelling at all. It's full of forgettable characters, storylines, episodes. Finn Jones isn't amazing as Iron Fist, but he's not as bad as a lot of people like to say. I don't think the show as a whole is bad. It just had so much potential, and it it ended up being something really boring and forgettable. And so I feel like this this show was just completely wasted potential. Defenders is right around the corner. Again, it's two days away. I can't wait to see Iron Fist as part of the ensemble, just because that is one of the most interesting uh, story elements for me. It, it, that's one of the things that's going to interest me the most, is seeing Iron Fist function as part of a uh, unit rather than just on his own. Because I already know I'm going to like the characters of Daredevil, Jessica Jones, and Luke Cage. I'm not sure if I'm going to like Iron Fist or not. Because I didn't really love him all that much in this show. And I, so I hope Defenders is able to turn that around for me. Uh, I'm going to give Iron Fist Season 1 a C+. There are a couple things that I do like about this show. Um, this... Just, most of it is just boring and forgettable, though. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you have seen uh, Season 1 of Iron Fist, let me know in the comments what you think about it, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.